Good evening, Nigerians. Lovely weekend. Um, I am the faceless and the nameless person. I think um, I wouldn't have come up today, but because of some certain things, I have promised Nigerians that I will be coming up on the 29th of this month because I last spoke on the 20th, 29th of last month and I said I won't be coming up. And I made mention of I will be coming up to tell Nigerians that there will be no disbursement in this month on the 29th. August 29th, there will still not be, not be disbursement because the lies in the grand community must be revealed. Like I've always said, the grand community is like a coven. It's a country in a country. There are cartels running this particular um, system called the grand community. Now, thank you, Osters Dawood. Even though that many people have not sit down to reason what you said, I want to say thank you for saying the truth yesterday. For letting Nigerians know that, hey, 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 Apostle Ken is not in charge. We were only sponsored to support him because the whole game was anything but Theophilus Eloche Ebon. So they needed somebody to front and they now gave the opportunity and said, okay, let it be Apostle Ken. Not because he's on the mandate to this boss. That is the truth. Now, Nigerians need to know one thing. The fallout between Apostle Cain and Jehoshaphat is this. Now, let's begin to go from what brought about their fallout and why Jehoshaphat stood on his own and Cain, you know, immediately Cain declared himself the country director. A day after, Jehoshaphat came up and said the same thing. And now, what was the fallout? There was an agreement between them that Jehoshaphat should be the country director while Apostle Cain is a consultant level. He should play the role of a consultant. But you know, like greed is always going to be at the center stage of a man's life if God has not helped that man. Apostle Cain quickly, by the advice of some other persons that deceived him, declared himself and Jehoshaphat felt betrayed and that was their fallout I won't want to go deep into this remember they've been meeting together the both of them but from that point they fell apart and um, that was it the old grand pressure group came for a rescue mission but unfortunately they were blinded by the god of mammon they were also seeking their own instead of seeking what to benefit the masses they were seeking their own and so they left the truth and they started chasing shadow and till this moment they are still chasing shadows and still lying to nigerians nigerians are still donating money for them to stay in the hotel all the hundreds of thousands and millions all grand pressure group have generated and they are telling you they are staying in the hotel. Can they not get a house in any place in Abuja? Get cooking gas, get um bed that they can be using. Must they be staying in a hotel wasting your money? Oh, come on. Okay, leave that. Now, after the fallout, the all grand pressure group, they went to Mr. Ben on my and then they tried talking with him but their foolishness was trying to blackmail people by recording them and they failed because they saw that mr ben was upright mr ben was somebody that will not budge for their greed and what they are pursuing so they channel their energy and say let's fight against mr ben let's make it happen that whether by hook or by crook we can promote apostle ken and that the game continues that way and so they fell out with mr ben also and they've been playing their games
so they brought the international community stories that is where their own extortion started from and all they've done they didn't make headway they threw that one away after nigerians talked about it for a week and two weeks they threw it away Ngwaga Chuku came up arrogantly and he was saying nobody should even talk about it why should people accuse him and i was like oh even Ngwaga Chuku will be saying this supposing it's his son that is dealing with an unknown person somebody he has not known before collected two five two point five collected three collected seven to then collect 30 million Ngwaga Chuku will you not have beat the hell out of that son but like you people have already said nigerians are gullible in the grand community it went the flag of what theophilus came he was arrested i told nigerians i said they've given you another bone to chew because they are they will be always be looking for things to be engaging you while giving you fake promise of disbursement oh come on so theophilus came every day for that two weeks submit your this submit your that and people were just doing and engaging themselves voice notes were flying up and down and then uh, theophilus was arrested still no headway now he's out will you people now be telling us that he's still the one stopping this busman because in those old time that he was there nothing happened on the uag camp now when us says that would reveal the truth yesterday that they were just sponsored to support ken and when the guy fell out with ken he arrested them and then they came out as the wood came did an apology and um he said this same guy is now mr Ape. he's now telling them that they should come and work with jehoshaphat that jehoshaphat is now the main person or whatever and then to do another damage control that same day they thought of how are we going to give nigerians more bone to chew to save face livingstone now called mama supreme and mama supreme was saying all those things. when i was listening to it i just knew all those things she was saying was lies how because when theophilus was arrested the next thing that they were going after was submit all your evidence of payment against supreme so that she too should face the wrath of the law and so she was i think under that panic and she was saying all those rubbish that she was saying now if what she was saying is true why is it that livingstone have to release that same voice note after hostess that would have talked it's just to confuse the masses the more give them bone to chew and then nobody is now talking about the others that would issue it's now the mama supreme nigerians when will you wise up now everybody is against mama supreme she came out this morning and said she doesn't know anything about the documents blah 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 okay fine i just want to tell nigerians that nigerians should know that come september 29 nobody will disburse any money to you until the right person is called and i think i've said his name several times until they call mr ben you will still be roaming around the same circle from year to year because if you are expecting anything from apostle ken you are deceiving yourself not even jehoshaphat is on that mandate now instead of leaving stone because they needed to do damage control if let's assume she has given you such information is it not for you to take it to the security agency let them do their proper investigation you release it to the masses to do what with it exactly and some of us just knows that all these things are just damage control you're trying to do if nigeria won this boss meant, i told the new movement I said, don't meet Apostle Kane. Do an independent investigation. And they went and be getting information from Kane. I just sat back and I was just looking. I said, okay, let's watch how it pan out. It will pan out. Now, all Grand Pressure Group were so happy when the when the new movement came, Justice for the Masses. 
because those ones are now taking center stage all grand pressure group are no more talking when abdul was talking in at the meeting and he was saying there will be no more telegram meeting for some time is because they don't know what to tell you again their lives have been exhausted nigerians get this and get this straight i know some of you will still come for me but i don't care i have given you the name i even told the all the new movement i said you take this name anywhere you are going for your investigation take these four names and i called mr ben omaye theophilus electro ebony um ken wakama and uh, mr andrew abdullahi i said these four names should be taken and when you're doing your investigation the people should be able to go through the mandate from the donors after all these things has happened and then they went and they neglected what i advised them they did their own and then so we are today and if anybody is telling you in this grand community that uaag are making headway i bet to tell you that it's a pure lies very big one they don't have any headway they are just deceiving you people nigerians two things that will bring this money first serious intervention in the place of prayers secondly physical protests by then they will arrest all the players in this thing and then the truth will come out as for mama supreme she's not even an issue to be discussed for me she's not an issue at all so all of you that are fighting and making voice notes against that woman she just did what she did because she doesn't want the all grand pressure group to come for her seeing that they've taken Teofilos Eloche Ebony already so she needed to cook up all those things that she have said but all those things are pure lies and you see one of the things that and uh, all the things she said there are things that we have known from I think September last year the alleged taking of the um document from that woman the passing of the woman in theophilus whatever whatever um all those things we have known them so why is it like a new thing that livingstone is releasing for nigerians to be talking about all those things have been in the nigerian space since so this is to let you nigerians know that their lives have exhausted and the next thing that they will be doing is to be bringing out this kind of tomorrow now they will call Agbochen, put it on record. They wanted to use it against Mr. Ben like this, but they fell flat and they are still falling. They'll fall like a pack of cards because they are not on the side of the truth. And until they come out for the truth, Nigerians, <laughs> this time next year, we'll still be talking about this boss man. The money is there. The money is there. But let us do the right thing. Don't go there and say, Mr. Ben with this boss. Anybody who is doing investigation, go with those four names. Okay, you can even include Jehoshaphat, even though that I know that his name is not there. But you can just include him. So that whoever is on that document, they will call him and he will disburse the money. Nigerians, don't be fooled by all grand pressure group. Oh don't be fooled by their antics they don't have anything to tell you if they tell you you know one thing that nigerians have not sit down to think is this since that january that i have been talking i have been consistent with my word that they are defrauding you people they are not having any headway after independence they began to fight them themselves Oh, because they know that they cannot have a way. They began to talk about international community group. Oh, that it, it was then they are now telling you Nigerians that we have not even known him, have not known them. They just told me this, and you are packing money to people you don't know. There's never a day that one Gachuku would think and said, Let us to can even be with the people that are going for the meeting. Where is the document that they say they've collected? Now, if a document like Mama Supreme was trying to say on her notes with um, Livingstone. Let's assume the document is actually with Theophilus. Is it wise for Livingstone to release such thing to the public space 
before the security agency will go to Theophilus. And if you people said, quote, and I quote, Ustaz Dawu said, or um, Abdul Razak, the German machine said, Theophilus said to him that nobody would disburse this money, save if he disburse or nobody would disburse. And you think even if he had that document in his course study, he will not tear that document or burn it and say nobody will disburse it. Livingstone foolishly dropped that kind of conversation. And that conversation was just to cover the lies that they've been hiding at that Osters that would brought out the truth. Nothing more. Nobody should read any other meaning. And I bet you to and I bet Nigerians they will still look for another bones to give to you people that don't know what you're doing. So I beg every one of us, let us begin to take all grand pressure group to wherever we think justice will come out from. Those guys are criminals in disguise. They are fighting for themselves, not for masses. They tried, but thank God, Osters Dawood, listen to his voice note again. Osters Dawood was saying yesterday that they made mistake in Telpecom, they made mistake in uh, Teobat, they still made the same mistake by romancing with all the all, um, the grant handlers. As I drop this V-note to come your way to remind you May 29th that there's no headway and there'll be no disbursement in this month, Nigerians, let's still be praying that whoever is sitting on this grant, God should unseat them. Whether they be all grand pressure group, Apostle Ken, whoever, whoever, Theophilus, um, Mr. Ben, Mr. Andrew, whoever is that knows the truth and is sitting on it, let God expose everything. And anyone that will fail to repent, we should lay him to rest in the place of prayer. And when you fight for justice, let the devil come together. They cannot hunt you down. So Nigerians, let's go to the place of prayer. And I heard somebody was making a video saying that Jehoshaphat is on that document. He is not. Jehoshaphat is not on that document. Nigerians, know that and have peace.